Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about installing extras. I'm going to be using Mac OS X Yosemite and MAMP 3.073. Okay, so uh, here on the uh, Hosts tab you, we have an Extras section and that is for installing content management systems without having to go to their actual website uh, and uh, download the files, install the files, and um, create a database for the content management system. Okay, so um, the first thing you have to do with extras is um, you first have to have a host. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a host and I'm gonna call this uh, Drupal, Drupal Extra. And I'm gonna be installing uh, Drupal this time. Uh, we do have another screencast installing, showing how, showing how to install WordPress uh, using an extra. So uh, I need to create a uh, document root for this, and I am going to call this Drupal Extra. Choose that, save my settings, and restart my servers so uh, my extra is aware of my new host. Okay, so now that I have a new host, I can go to the uh, plus button here down here while my Drupal Extra is highlighted. And uh, I have a choice of all the uh, content management systems we have currently, Drupal, Joomla, Web Edition, and WordPress. Um, I am going to be installing Drupal, so I just have to click here to install. And uh, fill out a few uh, uh, fields here. Some are required, some are not. Um, you definitely need the email address. And... Uh, First of all, uh, or, or I want to point out, uh, with some of the different uh, content management systems, you may see different fields. Um, in this case, for uh, Drupal, uh, you do have, you can um, make a subdirectory under the document root. Uh, I'm not going to do it, but uh, you can if you want. You definitely need this as a database name. Um, it's defaulted to Drupal. You can name it anything you want. Um, and username, admin, password, admin. Uh, these you can't change, and um, you can change them through the uh, Drupal interface once it is installed. So I'm going to go ahead and install it right now, and it's going to download from our, um, our servers and install Drupal. So there I have my Drupal installed and I'm ready to uh, manage it and uh, take a look at it. Okay, so now the Drupal uh, content management system is installed. If you're on your extras uh, tab button here, you can go directly to the uh, administration page uh, and log in here. And uh, it's recommended that you change your, uh, your password uh, you can do that through the Drupal site, uh, and if you uh, you can also reach your site through the uh, general uh, button here. You can get to your site this way. Okay, so one thing I want to point out: what the extra actually did. If you look at uh, the web start, you go to your web start button. You go to PHP my admin. You can uh, see the Drupal database that was installed for you. So that was all done for you. You didn't have to uh, uh, create that database at first, uh, as you would if you were normally uh, installing Drupal by, uh, from scratch. And one other thing, you can see the uh, files that were all, uh, this is the Drupal Extra, and the entire Drupal package was um, uh, installed in here in your original doc document root that we created when we created the Drupal extra host. And that's going to do it for this uh, MAMP Pro screencast for installing extras.